everybody, it is Steven Allah Cooper here, and today we're back in a Minecraft video, and today it's been an exhausting day, but uh, this is actually my second take, because the first take apparently I did not even record the screen correctly, and yeah, now this is my second take, so basically we haven't actually recorded a video for quite a while, so yeah, I try to get uh, some content out for you guys, but uh, there, I do have a series, it is the survival series, if you haven't watched it yet, you can go check it out, but that series, uh, you guys, I want you guys to actually comment down below, do you want me to continue that series? Uh, if you don't want me to continue it, I have a perfect series to actually replace it, because I, to be honest, to be 100% honest, I'm not really enjoying it, to be honest. And I really want to get good content out of you guys, so I have no idea, do you guys enjoy it? But, before we uh, get started with today's video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe button. It takes two seconds, that will be worth your time. But today we'll take a look at a redstone contraption. This is the item elevator. So this is the little redstone uh, contraption I created. So basically how we use it is pretty simple. Maybe you, it can be a large situation, for example, maybe we've done my section uh, do not worry about this stuff. This is from the other freaking take that I do not want to remember It literally was frustrating me a lot Basically what we do is you can throw in your items right here Maybe you're done mine session where I don't want to lose these diamonds or stuff And I threw my iron pickaxe like it's kind of broken And then we can use the diamond pickaxe to continue on our journey And continue mining Okay I didn't know anyone just did it. But if we come up this ladder and quickly take a look we should see that our stuff starts to come up. So, our stuff is actually coming up, but there are a few flaws, and there are a few, uh, uh, yeah, flaws to this. Number one, it was, there's like one or two, but number one is it is a little bit expensive, and number two is that some items actually do get stuck in the contraption as you can see there's only one stone stuck in the contraption if you rewind a little bit you can see i put in 32 stone so actually three stone uh got stuck so that's one that's two and then that's like one right here three so that is just slight problem about this design but other than that it's actually pretty cool and this is actually a pretty good design for a base for like uh, maybe uh, store systems or just like an example I just had there. So yeah, let's hop on straight for tutorial. And by the way, this is also expandable. So yeah, stay tuned for tutorial. Now, if I haven't uh, spoke clearly, this design is expandable. So as you can see, I have 64 droppers in my inventory. So this 64 droppers mean it is expandable. And I do have 64 redstone torches. It does uh, basically depend on how many uh, this, uh, droppers you add. As you see, we have a little bit of a drop uh, torch clock, uh, 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 torch, to torch tower going on right here. But basically, so it depends on how many it, how many how many droppers you have. But you need at least two to start with for like the clock and stuff. But basically, what you want to do is you want to come to the right corner right here. Now this uh, we need a four by six area. The area does not include this chest and so on and so forth. And basically, you want to come to the right. Uh, corner right here you want to place in the dropper amount you desire so I'm just gonna place in a couple droppers so boom 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 just want to place in a couple uh, as many as you need or like just so I'm just placing a couple like that then what you want to do is I'm just gonna quickly grab some blocks some temporary blocks and you want to place it a block like this and block up like this you want to place a redstone torch on the side face right there a comparator detecting and turning on and off this torch right here then what you want to do is we'll place a block on top of the torch then make this a little bit of a two by two area with a torch on this side a repeater going in this direction and in this direction two pieces of redstone that's like this then what you want to do is you want to connect this to the dropper so you want uh Quickly just uh, create some stuff, so you want to place a block, block, and block, uh, block, block, running into uh, this block right here. You want to place redstone dust all across these. 
then here it comes where the torches comes in. So what you want to do first is place your blocks in this zigzag formation until you reach the top. So I think there you go. So we reach the top right there. What you want to do is place redstone torches on every single side, like so. So boom, 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 boom like this so you create like a little uh, zigzag torch and there you go your system is done so you can test it out if you want so it, oops if we can place play place in does it place in you can place in some of that it'll actually launch off place a chest there if you need if we need to uh place one there so it'll just go in here uh here so it will go in there these are supposed to be in there so they're filling in once again items will get stuck in the droppers as you guys as i mentioned at the beginning but there you go that is the design complete and now i will explain as how everything works so stay tuned for the logic or whatever okay so time to explain how everything works so basically I'm going to use this one because it's color coded and you know what every single circle does. This one I didn't color code it because I didn't really care. But this one I tried to color code it so you guys can understand which circuit is which. But basically, what we're going to do is items come into this dropper. So we're going to start right here. So this comparator will detect it. Then what happens is it turns off this redstone torch, turning on, allowing this redstone torch to turn back on. Now this redstone torch, this yellow circuit right here, is a toggleable redstone clock. So this redstone torch turns on, then this repeater turns on, comes back here. This repeater also turns on, which is powering this block, which is turning off the torch. Then no longer sends an output, then the torch resends an output, and keeps cycling around and around until this torch turns back on meaning this dropper doesn't have any anything else and then over here at the same time when this torch is turning on and off this redstone line is also being activated so once this is being activated it activates our torch tower right here which is a green circuit right here so this redstone torch will turn off then turn on turn off turn off turn i'm um, turn on turn off turn off turn on turn off then of course the redstone torch will turn off and on so this will turn off then this will return on this will turn back off on off on off so on and so forth so it just keeps cycling around until there are no more items so that's why items will get stuck within here i did remove the items so items get stuck once once this uh job has no more items that means it will stop uh sending items up so that's why some items are left there because the, the they have, it's basically they have too much items like the items didn't make it so the like the input just i hope you guys actually get it like it no longer sends it basically how it works no longer sends an output no longer uh firing the items that's it so that really is it now Basically, uh, there is an extension right here, so you can just like put chest right here. Basically, just connect this in the chest, and basically that's how you uh, run items into that. It's very simple. I don't think anyone actually even need it to do that. So as you can see, items flow in there. I'm just gonna take these out. As you can see, once we run out of items, and then it'll stop, right? So. The, the items get stuck right here they keep getting stuck because it's not sending output i didn't see our torch has turned off i mean the clock has turned off so yeah that's very simple but hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you did please like and subscribe for more videos and yeah check out my late other videos and just leave a comment down below if you want me to do continue the survival series Oh, okay that looks oh my god this looks weird but okay leave a comment down below if you want me to continue the survival series or no just say something do you want me to continue or do you want do you not want me to continue if you don't want me to continue it then i have a perfect series to replace it but i if you do want me to continue it leave a comment down below then i will continue it and yeah see you guys next time on a minecraft video or roblox video whatever type of video Bye, guys.